<laughs> What's up, Aries? Welcome to Black Madonna HP. It is Friday, baby. Yes, Aries. So we are getting ready to hop into some messages, see what is kind of in your energy, what beloved wants you to know at this time. Hope everyone is doing okay today. Either way, let's go ahead and hop into these messages. Let's see what beloved wants you to know. Beloved, what's going on with the Aries? What's going on with the Rams, beloved? So you have flying, falling. You know, Aries, I feel like this is just you and like your fool's energy. Like you're taking risks, you're taking chances. It's like you're tired of the same old same. You're ready to expand, ready to explore. Um, something within you doesn't sit right anymore. It's like you're ready for some type of change in your life or something. I feel like you feel free um, at this time. Like any any um, any cords that were attached to you, I feel like those cords have been broken. It's this energy here of freedom, just feeling free just to do you, be you, um, do all the things you always wanted to. I did not mean to rhyme, even though I do rap, but I did not mean to rhyme. But um, it just seems like now is the time for you to explore new ventures, new places, new situations, new people. Um, I don't feel like you're in that same stuck, stagnant energy. I feel like it's a renewal of energy for you, Aries. Okay. So let's go ahead and hop into this tarot. What tarot do we want to use for Aries? Let's use this one since you're sitting at the bottom of it looking so pretty, pretty as ever. But um, what's going on with Aries? Why do they have this flying falling energy, beloved? Why do they have this flying falling energy, beloved? What's going on with the Aries, please? What's going on with the Aries, please? Thank you. One more, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first card out for you, Aries, is the Page of Pentacles. The Three of Cups, the King of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the six of pentacles, the odd man out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then six of pentacles, energy, Aries. I feel like this is you when you're in your given nature, whether you're giving up yourself spiritually, physically, romantically, whatever, right? And I feel like this is the energy that you're moving away from. It's like you have been given so much of yourself, so much of your time, energy, and resources that you almost drained yourself. And like you feel like it's time for you to do you, for you to be happy. Um, that it's time for you to stop giving away your energy to people and places and things that don't deserve your energy. You might be um, transitioning, moving, or something like that, moving away from people, trying to get away. It feels like this energy Aries where the old stuff just doesn't work for you anymore it's like you on a whole new um new thing I don't I don't know why I want to say a new flame and that's crazy because do you have a twin flame or are you on to a new flame or because you only have one twin but I honestly got a new flame so maybe there's a new spark in your life something is sparking your your um your interest at this time maybe some new business new ventures or something somebody might be getting some rims on their car or something or um putting some type of speakers or something in their car somebody might be trying something new getting their um tents dark and it is the summertime so a lot of people like to play with their vehicles around this time 
but it just seemed like you're on to something new, something better, okay? Because you're definitely manifesting something new into the universe with this page of pentacles. This isn't something you've been working on. This is something that um, you've been manifesting, okay? And it seems like it's finally coming into fruition, but I feel like this is your energy right now. Like, you're in that energy where I just want to try something new, do something new. Like, I've done the same thing over and over again. I've been around these same people stuck um, over and over again. Like, this is a time for me. And I keep getting Aries that let me reintroduce myself energy. I'm not sure what you're doing, whether it's spiritually or physically, but something about you is changing. Something about you is not the same, okay? Because you've been around people, places, and situations too long, and you're ready for something new. Like, she has her cup up, right? But she's not looking at them, but they're focused on her. And this is you, Aries, with this orange hair, most definitely. But they're focused on her. And she's focused on something, like, outside of the picture. So it's like the same old things just won't work for you. It's like something new is calling you, calling your spirit or something like that. It's like you have had enough of the same old same. People have been trying to penetrate your energy lately, whether that's telepathically or energetically. You need to watch out for who you've been around, Aries, because there's people around you that want to be you, that want to be in your place. I'm not sure what it is that you do for a profession or whatever, but there's people around you that want to be you, want to be in your place, want to take your spot if they could. But it's like you're, you're looking forward to new ventures and stuff like that, Aries. Now, is this King of Wands energy here? It's uh, Emperor's energy here, and there's a Queen of Pentacles energy here. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting, these are like your transformation energies, right? Because when you show up, or the way you've been showing up, has been like this, right? You show up, you looking good, you smelling good, whatever, right? And like people know what to expect from you in this energy because this is just you just being the Aries that you are, you know, being on your throne or whatever. But even this man looks like he's bored with just sitting on that throne, right? So this is you getting into your power, right? This is you, that's that new flame energy that's surrounding you right now. Like it's something, it's something that's egging you inside to like do something new, do something different. It's this new flame, new things. And then with the Ace of Pentacles right, right behind this um, King of Wands energy, it's definitely like this new energy that you want to be on these new things like it's it, i feel like it's time for you to get up and explore to move to go to a different country a different state different around the same people stop entertaining the same type of energies if you want to grow you have to be in this energy of change continuously and it seems like right now is your time for change because this is how you're going to come show back up and this is why i'm getting that energy of of um re let me reintroduce myself i keep getting that energy like you're you gonna like be in the same physical body but your spirit's gonna be different like everything about you is just gonna be different like you're gonna show up in a more um more feminine energy if you're a masculine if you're a mass uh, a feminine a masculine energy you're gonna show up in a more feminine energy right i hope i said that right but it's like you're changing nobody can really guess or 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 predict like who you gonna show up as and, and it's good because you're getting into this energy where you're gonna be unpredictable just the moment where people think that they knew you or they knew things about you or Aries is this type of person and Aries is this is when you switch up the whole game on on them and what is ultimately going to lead you to is to this ten of pentacles energy and I feel like this is financial energy I feel like this is something that um is about your financial house like you could be, be buying a, a house or something like that or um 
buying a new car, like I said, fixing up a car, um, moving, vacationing, you know, getting a um, promotion in your job, switching jobs, getting a better job. But it's something like your energy is everything about the newness, like like just being a new me, right? Because in that energy, I feel like no one is, when you show back up, I'm not sure why I keep wanting to say, um, reintroducing Aries when you show back up people are got not gonna know who's showing up because there's gonna be like different aspects of you different parts of you that's showing up like if you haven't been um open <clears throat> excuse me to to showing your spiritual gifts to the world you're gonna start showing your spiritual gifts if you a singer that's been singing in the shower singing in the bathroom for years you're gonna start singing in public and do it like you are coming out of this shell that you've been in and people are not gonna know how to handle it with this eight of wands energy this is all the good things that's getting ready to come to you these are all the doors that's getting ready to open like there's there's like things that you've been manifesting that's getting ready to come towards you Aries so get ready and people are gonna be pissed off at you people are gonna be mad like what happened to Aries I feel like this might be a particular person that you know this could be your spouse an ex whatever a friend a, um whoever right they're gonna be shocked at who you become and how little attention you give to them because they're not like part of your um part of your story anymore like your story is moving on past this person your story has advanced past this person they were in the last chapter but i feel like this person's chapter in your story aries is over okay but um Let's go ahead and get you a message from Beloved. Do I want to do these ones? Let's do the empath ones. Because I'm feeling like Aries on stuff they game up in the spiritual realm. And everybody like, let me reintroduce you to Aries, who I really am. You know? But let's see. Here. Beloved, what's up with the Aries? What's up with the Aries? What's the message you have for Aries, please? interesting 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 release shame if you've been shamed for being sensitive or anything else yourself wait hold on i'm sorry my nail is covering stuff tell yourself i'm ready to release this shame i am a lovable caring person so this is what you're being free from, okay? And that that thing, whatever you are ashamed of or whatever, that's what's been holding you back all this time. And it's like maybe this is what you're releasing and why you're like feeling free, why you're in this newness energy. Like I don't I don't know why it feels like a rebirth that you're going through or some type of great transformation that you're going through, Aries, but this energy is hot, okay? yeah and then at the bottom of this deck is body and this is definitely you standing there in the red dragons and look at someone that that was in your past energy this is your person or whoever this thing is right this feels like in pieces like they can't believe what they're seeing like you're a whole person yeah you're a phoenix rising from the ashes aries and this is them wanting to surrender to you so it's kind of crazy but yeah, Aries, that's the reading I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace, and so take care.